So we've made it into the studio now, into our windowless studio, I might add. Um, oh, we do suffer for our art, don't we, us artists? Anyway, this is a very typical, this is like trademark uh, Michael James Smith scene. Um, took the photograph myself last year, spent a bit of time editing it, but um, this is what I've been working on, and this is what I'm going to be working on probably for the best part of the week. I thought I'd just bring you along. You know, you can sit on my shoulder and watch what I do. I'll narrate some of it, but I'm going to be working on this tree here today. Um, I just thought, you know, you might want to catch up and come and have a look, see what I'm doing. But uh, I'm going to start working on that now. I've already got the paints out. These, by the way, these paints, <coughs> I'm using uh, some of my own paints. These paints are being made by uh, myself. Um, well, we have them made in a factory, but you know, they're my own branded paints. I've spent a lot of time trying to get the um, pigments right and get everything exactly how I like it. Um, and they're going to be out available on the website hopefully by the end of the year. Um, and I know I've been saying that for a little while, but we are definitely getting closer to having these paints perfect. So I'm really excited about that, and they are really good. Um, the brushes that I'm going to be using also in this video are. Um, the MJS professional brush set, all the brushes you can get from there. Um, <clears throat> click on the pop-up thingamabob there, there should be a link come up. If not, it's all down below, all the links to the brushes and, and stuff. Oh, stop talking, Mike. Right, let's get painting. So we're going to be working on this tree here. Some of that tree does go up into the sky, as you can see in this photograph here. Um, I'm going to try and get the, because this has been blocked in the middle tones, I'm going to add some of the darks now but I'm just going to focus on a little bit of this and just show you in detail how I'm going to do that. But first things first, let's add the dark tones that we can see in that tree. So this colour that I'm putting on here is actually a very, very dark green. Um, I'm using the uh, like fan brush. This is my Series 4 size 1 fan brush. Sometimes I would use something like a tree and texture brush for this. It just depends what sort of mood I'm in, really. Today I am using fan brush so some of the block in details can still be seen below this second layer of paint darkened it somewhat but we haven't entirely lost the, um, the, the some of the lights in there. Let me just use this other camera so as you can see this gives us a better idea of what we're looking at. So we have still got the lights from the blocking in there we just added some darks over the top. Now of course we want it to look like that so what we need to do or we need to start doing is adding some of those lights. Yeah, so I think I'm going to start adding some of the shape to this tree. I'm going to use a different brush for that because one of the problems that we have with, well, it's a good thing that we have with the, the fan brushes or the tree and texture brush, which is actually what I ended up using. Um, you get almost like a, what I would call a dry brush effect. Um, so, the, you know, none of the, um, I'll show, actually I'll show you, look. So if I go over the sky here, can you see it's just like loads and loads of little dots. And we don't want that. We don't want it to be almost have that sort of soft kind of furry look it's okay in here but when we get to the sky there we want more solidity we want more obvious brush marks so you can use something like this series 6 size 0 for that. And as you can see that's giving us more of a distinctive brush mark and I'm not going to do too much to begin with it's going to do the most areas that are or the densest areas. So 
there we have some of the more dense areas. What I'm going to do now is bring some of these branches up within that and then we can get onto the finer details afterward. Moving over to a rigger brush now. So we're going to concentrate on the body of this here now. I'm um, going to start off, I think, by adding or starting to add some of the mid-tones. But before we do that, I've noticed that there are some areas that are not darker, but have, where we have some of the light blocking. In some of these areas, we don't have that. It's more of a, a solid, a sort of darker colour, if that makes any sense at all. So just running over the top of some of these, adding just a few more of the darker bits. Right, so there are many different ways of adding the leaves, many different techniques, lots of different brushes that we can use, but I am going to use a technique that you probably don't see quite so often, and that is because this tree is a little bit closer, I'm going to actually add some of the details or some of the leaves independently. So, whereas trees that are sitting further back will put the, the um, leaves on more in mass um, with one brush stroke here we're going to use one brush stroke almost per leaf roughly okay so let's now start to add some of these more uh, some of the darker colors I'm going to work around here so where we were working on this area and building up the density now we're going to work on the more individual uh, leaves on the outside so I'm going to use the rigger brush and we are literally just going to start painting a bit more detail We'll actually go around the whole outside of the tree doing this because what you're looking at there are the individual little brush marks. some of the details of the leaves in the main body of the tree here. I'm going to start off first of all with the darker colours and then we can add well, the darker colours that are in the shade I might say and then we'll go ahead and add some highlights afterwards. Still using the rigger brush here, the same brush that we've used for the outside leaves. So we still have a lot more of those middle greens to do, but let's start putting in some of the lighter areas now.
so I've got that tree pretty much finished um, today. Um, I'm going to start working probably on the grass here in the foreground. Actually no, I'm going to work on the water and then I'm going to work on the grass here. If you want to see me um, working on the rest of this painting, let me know in the comments below and I'll put something up on YouTube for you. Right, that's my day over. I'm going to go and have a cup of coffee and go home. See you all soon. Thank you.